Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do my um, video on this gorgeous little no ID phalaenopsis. Um, if anybody out there that watches my channel has the same orchid and has an ID for it, I'd really, really be interested if you'd leave me a name or a possibility of a name down in the uh, comment section. That would be great. Thankful, thank you to the new subscribers who have subscribed to my channel recently. It's much appreciated. And I'll get on and show you a bit closer up with this little fowl. So I've already counted the flowers and she has 21 open flowers and she still has four buds here to open. So she was a double spike last year when I bought her from Springvale um, Garden Centre in Wanganui last year on the, the tag over there says the 8th of the 9th 2018. So she was a double spiker then. She definitely has done a double spike here. That's just a little bit harder to see. And um, I probably didn't stake it up the best for having the two spikes. The reason that the second spike didn't look as tidy is because it didn't break through the leaf where it was supposed to. So it was trying to come through there and come out underneath that leaf, but it actually poked up, broke back in through the leaf and came back up very much looking like a terminal spike, which it isn't, luckily. So that came through there, through almost through the crown, but it isn't a terminal spike, so that's good, because a terminal spike means that she wouldn't flower from the, um, the crown again. So there are four flowers on this side branch, there are four flowers on that side branch, there are two up on this little side branch here, the rest up there, one that escaped the light from the front and decided to poke out round the back. And one, two, three on this bottom branch and another four yet to open. So I think that's pretty good going. I will show you the uh, a close up of her flower. Quite speckled on the bottom two petals. And a nice dark cerise coloured lip. There's also some speckling on that lip in there. So just a quick video, just to show you how cute and how many flowers you can actually get from one Phalaenopsis. And there you can see that she's already dropped a flower. So, and this one here has something interesting to show. So this one here, it's leaf, that outside leaf on the left, is almost like a lip gone wrong because it's got a cupped kind of leaf. It's got speckles in there. It's really hard to get the camera to focus on that. It's probably about the best there, but she has speckles either side of this cupped little petal. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. So there's just something strange that happened to one of her petals. Otherwise, she's just an absolutely adorable little fowl, looking nice and healthy. Let's see if we can get her out of the pot. Now, I actually haven't repotted her since I purchased her, which is a bit naughty of me. So she does have a very nice root system. But I have to be super careful because she's really quite topply. So she's still in the original bit of sphagnum moss and things that she came with. I've just added a few more moth, bits of moss to get some more aerial roots on her. And that's her. So she was a double stem and I paid $49 for her originally. But wow, she was a beautiful purchase from Springvale Garden Centre in Wanganui. Not in the city that I live in. Alrighty, thank you very much. We'll leave you there. That's the back showing thank you very much if you're interested in seeing my videos please subscribe to my channel if you like this video give me the thumbs up if you didn't like this video please give me the thumbs down if you would like to leave me a comment please do so in the sections below thank you everybody see you later